Hello, my name is Stefan Michel. I work as a systems engineer at EMC, soon to be known as Dell Technologies. If you want to reach out to me, the easiest way is via Twitter. Just send me a direct message. With this demo, I want to show you how easy it is to deploy one app to Cloud Foundry uh, from your local machine via the uh, CF push command. I will also show you how easy it is to scale your app either using the web GUI or the CLI. In the second video I'm going to show you how you can connect GitHub to Cloud Foundry via tools like Travis or Jenkins. Why is this useful? Imagine you work with several people on your project. Um, you can automatically, automatically um, build your project. Um, you can build deployment pipelines. Your project can be tested automatically. And uh, you can also do blue-green deployments. In the, last, uh, in the third and last video, I'm going to show you how you can um, get notified um, from GitHub and also uh, from Jenkins uh, to Slack. So if you use Slack as a um, communication tool with your team, you can integrate uh, messages from GitHub and Jenkins. If you want to try um, Cloud Foundry, it's very easy. Just three, uh, three easy steps. You um, need access to a Cloud Foundry instance. For example, you can get one uh, at uh, run.pivotal.io. Then you have to install the Cloud Foundry CLI and then um, you're free to go with the CF push command. So um, without further delay, let's jump to the demo. Let's have a look at the demo. The app I'm going to um, push here is just a static website, which will be available using this URL, agencydemo.cfapps.io. And currently we don't see anything since the application has not been pushed yet. Let's have a look at the files. You see some index, index HTML files and um, also one manifest file which where we uh, will have a look right now. Um, this um, file contains some information uh, concerning the application, like the name, the amount of memory which uh, is used, um, the host name and which build pack is used. Um, imagine the build pack like a recipe which tells Cloud Foundry uh, which um, programming framework should be used to um, publish the uh, application. Um, then, to publish uh, the application, we have to log in. Uh, that is um, possible with the following command. Actually, you just have to type the endpoint once and after that it um, is stored. So we log in. I have to provide our credentials. And then we can start and push the application with CF push. And you see it uses the manifest file, creates the app, um, and um, uploads um, the files. And you also already see how fast uh, the processes are. It's going to start the app, and that means that we can have a look um, at the browser very soon.
the app is started and let's have a look here and indeed we see the uh, website um, and we see some dummy context content and um, also some um, empty parts uh, where we will perform some changes. We can now scale this app um, if we log into Pivotal Web Services and have a look for our um, agency demo. Um, if you ask yourself why I choose this name, uh, because the um, website is based on the bootstrap which is called agency. Um, here we can, you see that we can easily scale. Um, for example, I will scale to three instances and increase um, the amount of memory. Scale this app, confirm, and you will see that um, here new instances should be started and now uh, we use three instances. Um, since we don't consume a lot of memory, I will uh, reduce this um, amount again, but this time using the CLI. Um, so you can scale your app with CF scale. You have to provide the, provide the name, um, the amount of instances. I will scale to five and the memory. I will reduce this number again and you see that the, I'm sure, yes, um, the application is going to be scaled. And now five instances are going to be started. Um, we are going to perform some changes to the website now. I have this little helper script here and CF push again and you will notice how easy and fast this uh, update process is. Uploading is done, the application is going to be started and we should see the effect immediately. So let's have a look, refresh our website. And here we go, we see that we just added a Google, Google Maps card, a Google Maps map. Um, and that's how easy it is to deploy an application to Cloud Foundry and also to update it. To summarize, in this video I showed you how you can push one app to Cloud Foundry. Again, in the second video I'm going to show you how you can connect GitHub and Cloud Foundry via Jenkins. And in the third video I'm going to show you how, um, how to use Slack, uh, how to get notified through Slack.